Good morning from Kamakura, Japan. I can see that songbird. There he is. There he is. Now that I know what it looks like, I can look him up. He's tiny. Oh, <laughs> another one just came and disturbed him. Get out of my tree. <laughs> you know, I can actually see the difference in growth of my tomatoes since yesterday. Cucumbers are growing upward. That's a good sign. I think I'll turn this today. Give this side a bit of sunshine today. Good morning, Spunky. How are you? How are you? Mm -hmm. You gonna scratch my legs? Thank you. Come on. Come on. Nanny, can you? Blueberries. They're growing strong, aren't they? Mm -hmm.
Can you see what I see? A rosebud. My first rosebud. Well, maybe second. I see one up there. Can you see it? We'll go up and take a look. So the roses are blooming. Wonderful. Let's go upstairs and take a look. This. And look at that. Sunday, April 25th, I see my first rose blossoms. So I think this will be today's project. I am going to salvage the upper portion of this plant. And I may keep the lower portion to see if it recovers. This plant is, uh, I've had it for 14 years. 15 years and uh, you can see it's getting old but I can harvest these upper portions and replant them I'll put them in a vase of water first and then I'll replant them as I did here and here and then something else will occupy this spot my ferns are doing well I love ferns and if you're wondering what this is here I was just being whimsical 
and let it grow. Here's the mother plant. And actually this was given to me as a gift when I bought a new car years ago at my Toyota dealership. They gave me a plant and now look at it. <laughs> Mostly to keep people from walking through here. <laughs> Spunky can do it, but uh, yeah, I, I wanted to block that off so that no one would bump into my cabinet here and knock these, uh, these delicate things off. Even the earthquakes we have had, nothing major, but uh, nothing moves here. This house has a very sturdy foundation and it's quite wide, so I don't get the uh, swaying motion that uh, a lot of people who live in high-rises get. So, at strong summer sunshine, I have to uh, close the blinds so that uh, my furniture doesn't fade any more than it already has. I think I can show you the difference. Can you see the difference between this side and this side? That's how much it's faded over the years. When I moved here, these chairs were here. They came with the house and they were gray. So I spent a lot of money to have these two chairs reupholstered. And the guy did a very good job, but it cost me uh, and an arm and a leg that's why I limp. <laughs> Shouldn't make jokes like that. And this has become my avocado corner. I have three that are doing well. And a fourth has just poked out. It's hard to see, but it's right here. Right there. <laughs> Coriander, more coriander over here, and I need to find out the name of this plant here, I'm not quite sure. Never paid much attention to the names until I started vlogging. <laughs> Funny how that is. Yeah, we caught you making all that noise, Spunky. Okay, hibiscus. They're about to bloom again. Two there. One here. And this one, nothing yet. Oh, Anna, you asked about my orchid. There it is. Kind of in bad shape. Well, that's normal, really. But, uh, yeah, it has these beautiful yellow flowers. Um, maybe May or June we'll see them. I need more orchids. I like them. These are spring onions that I bought and cut and used and uh, replanted the, the roots. I think they're ready for another cutting. And here's how my garden looks from the dining room. And pretty soon the green beans will be climbing up this net here. Now that the weather is nicer, I can do grilling on this here. This is actually a, a small grill. It's made of some sort of clay. It's called a uh, shchidin. You see that there? 
Shichi Ding. And this controls the airflow. So you can see my fingers are a bit chalky from this. <laughs> yeah, I think this can be put on a tabletop inside or outside. Never leave this outside in the rain though, you'll destroy it. And this here is what you put your um, coals. Uh, it's called semi here, charcoal. So yeah, you put your coals in here and you can light it. Uh, some people just put it right on top of the um, stove top. I'll show you here. Looks good. Yeah, you put the coals there. And then you fire them here. It's a quick way to get the coal started. I don't know if I've showed you much of my uh, dining room. I have two instant pots. And uh, for some reason I went with red for a lot of my uh, pots and Dutch ovens. Let me come a little closer here. This is a typical Dutch oven, quite heavy. This is the Japanese style Dutch oven, smaller one. And of course my mixer, that's a bread maker, Panasonic air fryer. I do have a juicer, I haven't juiced in a while. And various saucepans and whatnot instant pot. This is an old pressure cooker. Uh, you cook it on the stove top by way of gas. It works well. And I do have an extra refrigerator in here. Uh, I get these, uh, this is a plumbing guy here and whatnot. They come in the mail. I don't like throwing them away so I just put them on top of, uh, put them on the face of my fridge. So, that's where I keep stuff like this, olives and yogurt and condiments, my salads. I do keep my bread in there as well. This is wonderful walnut bread. Kurumi is walnut in Japanese. Walnut bread, very tasty. My cheeses go up top. These are sardines. I, I'm sorry, these are anchovies. I don't drink alcohol, but I've had this here for uh, more than a year um, from back when I did drink alcohol. I have no desire to drink alcohol, but I uh, don't just want to throw it away. Uh, maybe I'll give it away one day. Yeah. And my freezer is filled to the brim uh, with chicken and all sorts of things, ribs. Even have some rabbit in there, I'm sure. There's a lobster, I see a frozen lobster. <laughs> All kinds of goodies. And of course the main fridge is in here. Why two? Well, you can see they're quite narrow. They're rather small. We can turn on some light here. My rice cooker, my toaster oven, my Instant Vortex Plus. This is great for rotisserie chicken or any other kind of meat. Uh, and baking and whatnot. Yeah, good thing. Let's see if we can see that better. Yeah, there we go. Air fry, roast, broil, bake, reheat, dehydrate, rotate. Uh, but this is the main oven. There. Give you a little spin round on uh, an oil blocker for frying. And I like to have things hanging up. These two things here for my walk. There we go. And my assortment of 
cast iron. Keep them oiled and hung so that they don't get moldy and rusty. Assortment of woks, paella pans. I have two. Yeah. I like to keep my uh, tomatoes out. I love colorful tomatoes. And I'm going to make uh, some sort of bread today, banana bread, maybe banana blueberry nut bread today. And you can see all of my various spices and homemade spice mixes. For you folks in the States, I highly suggest this. Daddy Jack's Blackening Spice. Um, Daddy Jack, he has a YouTube channel called Cooking with the Blues. Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues. And he was kind enough, him and his wife were kind enough to actually send me this. Uh, of course, I've used it all and tried to make my own. It didn't turn out as well as his. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues. Really nice guy. He's in Connecticut. So, I want to uh, make some hard-boiled eggs. And I'm going to steam some broccoli and some string beans. I do a lot of this prep um, on the weekend uh, for the next week. Spunky likes to have a, a, a hard-boiled egg for breakfast. And I make an egg salad sandwich to take to work sometimes. And it's nice to have for breakfast uh, steamed vegetables uh, available in the fridge. So first off, the boiled eggs. I have six eggs in a, a nice sized saucepan. And to that I'm going to add some vinegar. About a tablespoon or two of vinegar. Okay, that should be enough. Turn up the heat. Yeah, the heat's on high. And I'm going to bring this to a boil, covered. And once that boils, I'm going to set the timer for 12 minutes. As soon as it reaches a boil, I'll turn off the heat and you'll get perfect eggs. So here's everything that I'm going to steam. I'm going to steam two heads of broccoli and also separately I'm going to steam some green beans. Let me get these uh, opened. I'm going to set the green beans aside for now. Okay, just with a small paring knife here, I'm going to begin cutting the florets. I like to go around the edges. And cut the florets. I'm going to get a bowl for my florets. Now, I save the stems and I also just trim them up a bit, but I steam these as well. I'll cut it in half and these get steamed as well. stalk I take about an inch off of the end you see that's quite tough and I throw that away now I will uh, trim the skin off Make sure you get all the fibrous material off. I'll cut this lengthwise twice. 
give me nice long pieces. These will be steamed as well. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the second uh, head of broccoli. You might notice that I'm using parchment paper on my uh, cutting board. I find that it just makes for a, a cleaner uh, surface uh, to work on and to clean up afterwards. Now some of these leaves here uh, you can leave on. They are edible. And I don't cut the, the broccoli too fine in the beginning. I want to steam them as they are because I can uh, always cut them later when I use them. And again, I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to steam these as well. Again, about an inch from the bottom, I'll cut, discard that. And you know, Spunky, he even likes this as well. Sometimes I will, uh, after removing the, the skin, I will cut these up into julienne pieces, little slices, and then chop them again and uh, add them to Spunky's dinner plate, dinner bowl. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Okay, the eggs are about to come to a boil. So. Discard that end. I leave this end, the pointy end on. And then these I will cut probably into thirds. That looks good. Move it to this side. Okay. Again in thirds. Alrighty. So I'll pause on this and uh, check on the eggs. Now, the eggs have come to a boil. I'm going to turn off the heat immediately. They've only been boiling for about 30 seconds or so. Then I'm going to start the timer. 12 minutes. Okay. I can put the lid back on or leave it off. Doesn't matter. It's still quite hot. So I'm going to leave it off. I'll just place the lid there. And... Uh, once the alarm goes off, the eggs will be done. And I'll show you what they look like. Okay, back to the steaming of the broccoli and the green beans. Got a large enough pot to steam them in. And I also use this trusty tool. It's a uh, little mini colander. So I place that in, then add my florets, I'm going to see how well the lid fits, that looks good, nice fit. So, since I have a nice fit there, I'm going to add the green beans as well. Sometimes I do this separately, but just to save some time, I'm going to add them all together. And hopefully the lid will still fit and seal. Let's see. Looks good to me. Alrighty. So, with that, We'll need a 
We'll need a cup of filtered water. And that should be enough. I'm going to add another half a cup just to be safe. Okay. Now this will go on the pot as well. Uh, now this will go on to the stove as well. And I also use this trusty tool. It's a uh, little mini colander. So I place that in. Then add my florets. I'm going to see how well the lid fits. That looks good, a nice fit. So, since I have a nice fit there, I'm going to add the green beans as well. Sometimes I do this separately, but just to save some time, I'm going to add them all together and hopefully the lid will still fit and seal. Let's see. Looks good to me. Alrighty. So, we'll need a cup of filtered water. I'm going to add another half a cup just to be safe. Okay, so the eggs are still steaming. I'm going to turn on the flame and adjust it to a high. I'll put the lid on and I'll let that steam. And once I see the broccoli, especially the broccoli, turn a nice vivid green, you can see how pale they are here. But uh, when they're done, they'll be a nice vivid green. And the egg should be done in a little less than six minutes. And by the time the eggs are done, the broccoli should be steamed. Okay, the eggs are done. Very bright green. I'm going to call that done. Okay, so let's drain these, okay? Bring them over to the sink and we'll drain them. So, I'm going to place everything in here. Hope nothing falls. Okay. Very well. Uh, don't burn yourself. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the bowl right side up and immediately run some cool water over all of these to immediately stop the cooking. Fill this completely. And you can see how vividly green these are.
Okay, let's turn our attention back to the eggs. One thing I like to use is uh, an absorbent towel. This is not a paper towel, this is um, uh, an absorbent towel for oil. But I use it um, for my steamed vegetables and my eggs. I will simply push that in and I will shell my eggs. You can see how there's a membrane here. You can see the membrane. Make sure you remove that and it'll be easier to peel. The vinegar that I added also makes it easier to peel. As you're peeling, dip the egg back into the water. That helps a lot as well. Okay. So here we have a perfectly peeled egg. Now, the reason why I bring it to a boil, shut it off, and let it sit for 12 minutes is this. See how beautiful the yolks are? There's no green around the edges, that ugly green portion. That perfectly boiled egg. Now these can set and drain for a few more minutes. You can see how wonderful they look. The green beans look nice as well. It's still very crunchy. Let's try a florette of broccoli. Hmm, good, very good. So while I'm at it, I'm gonna have a little snack here. I have some citrus magic salt. And let's see how this tastes. No green around the edges. Quite good. So once again, I have that absorbent towel. Here I'll separate the, the two vegetables. Okay, there we go. So we have the eggs, the broccoli, and the green beans. That didn't take very long at all. And I'm prepared for the next week, for the coming week. It is already done. And into the fridge they go. It's as simple as that. And it's a time saver. And now, well, there's always the cleanup. Somebody's got to do it.